parallel processing. What does it really mean? This story will explain it very clearly. Two guys were out on a Saturday night. They were dancing. They were singing. They were having fun. They were the life of the party. And about midnight, one of them said, hey, I've got to run. i got to go. And the buddy said, what are you talking about? It's just getting rolling. you got to go. Is there an emergency? He goes, well, I've got to go do my laundry. Your laundry? Yeah, I go to the laundry, Matt. See, if I wait till Sunday, I'll be lucky to get a machine. I'll be there all day. But on a Saturday night, nobody's at the laundry, Matt. I'll have all of the machines to myself. I'll have my wash and my dry done in an hour and a half and I'm out of there. That's parallel processing. With a little dry humor, for those of you who want to be Teradata experts, this is going to help you enormously. I'm going to teach this different than you've ever seen any class taught. I'm going to get right to the most important issues and you'll hear them many times. I'll continue to recap. So you stick with me. You will be a world-class expert. Bert. The number one Achilles heel of any system is when data is moved from disk into memory. This woman came in and said, how are the orders today? And the disk said, how would I know? I'm just a disk. You see, nothing happens on disk. Zero. Nothing. It's cold storage. If you want to read the data, if you want to update, insert, delete, anything you want to do to that data, they've got to move it from the disk into memory where, like lightning, it is processed. Then they can write it back to disk. And that's how computers work. And Teradata has come up with some clever ideas for performance tuning that we'll see next. You see, the key to great, massive parallel processing isn't to have a processor with a disk and move it into memory. It's to have many processors. They have their own memory. They each have their own disk. And then they split up each table's data across all the processors. So each one of them has their portion of the work to do, and they do it in parallel. And this is how Teradata has been able to dominate the computing world for the past 20 years. Here's your first Teradata term. AMP, Access Module Processor. These are a series of parallel processing processes, and they are called AMPs. As you can see here, I've got a table with nine rows. I color-coded this for you so you can see each row. And I want to really point out that in this case, I've got three AMPs. You'll have more AMPs in your Teradata system, but I'm going to show you things small, and you just need to have your imagination multiplied by 100. So we've got three amps here. As you can see, my table's got nine rows in it. We're going to spread the rows, three of them on amp one, three of them on amp two, and three of them on amp three. And that's the way all tables are spread across all the amps every time. You're going to see a lot of fancy pictures on Teradata and the architecture. This is what you need to know. It's got a parsing engine. It's the boss. It's the brains behind everything. It takes the SQL from the user, comes up with a plan, passes that plan over one of two binets, binet zero or binet one, and then the amps get it simultaneously. They do their portion of the work. They return it to the parsing engine over the binet, and the parsing engine gives it back. 